digging and measuring the trench. Make sure you check with the council or your house drawings to ensure there are no services like cables or water pipes in the area of excavation. Excavate a trench which is 600mm wide and 250mm deep. Backfill the trench with gap 20, so when it's compacted it's approximately 150mm thick. Rake the gap 20 to get a level surface. Gap 20 means the maximum aggregate size is 20mm. Using a spirit level, screed and check that the trench is level. Compact the Gap 20 with a vibrating plate compactor. Once again, check the compacted gap 20 is level. Firth's Compact 4 retaining product comes upside down on the pallet. If there are any rough spots, rub them off with a piece of concrete or rubbing stone to make sure it's smooth so that the units will sit level when placed one on top of the other. The underside of the unit has triangular holes in it and the top does not. When laying the first course, level the units front to back and side to side. This is important to ensure the rest of the wall on top is correct. laying the rest of the units, ensuring they are all level, using a long spirit level. Align the back of the units to a string line, as the front has a split face finish. clean out the fiberglass pinholes using a 12mm diameter bolt and a hammer. Each unit has two fiberglass pins which locate the units on the next course. For this application we are placing the fiberglass pins in the back hole to give us a setback or battered look. Sweep the blocks to remove any excess debris. Lay the subsurface drainage pipe along the back of the units and slope it to drain to one or both sides. Suitable drainage aggregates for behind the wall. Fill the cavities in the units as well as the trench behind, approximately 300mm from the back of the unit. Use a broom to clean the top of the units before installing the next course. Line up the middle of the unit and locate the fiberglass pins in the triangular holes, pulling the block forward to get the correct position. Continue using the same process for the rest of the courses, ensuring that the drainage aggregate continues all the way up. Using a suitable outdoor concrete adhesive, glue the capping blocks to the last course.